Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new die set, Happy Hatchling. This is a layering die set where you can create a cute little chick there and some eggs perfect for spring and for Easter. So here are all of the pieces cut out and you'll see there's kind of like a base egg and then there's decorative eggs. So here I've cut the polka dotted egg out of some blue and the base egg out of some yellow and I'm going to layer the two on top of each other and you can change the colors for any look that you would want. And I just love when they layer on top and that beautiful stitching decoration. Now for the little chick, I like to trim a piece of black cardstock to go behind him to color his eyes in black. So I've just trimmed a little piece of paper and then here I'm just going to cut it down to fit the little chick there. And once that's trimmed down, I can add a liquid glue and put that right behind that piece of cardstock and it's going to give him some nice bold black eyes. Now once that's all done, you can go ahead and add the beak and the feet. And that's a separate die so that you can cut it from a separate color of cardstock. So he's been cut out of some new sticky note cardstock, and his feet and his beak are cut from some fake tan. And I love the combination of that orange and really nice kind of buttery yellow. Now next up, we have this little die piece that almost looks like a little chevron. Well, this is actually used to crack the egg open. So I lined it up on my egg, ran it through the die cut machine, and now it looks like a little cracked egg. And you can actually put the chick in the egg, which I think is really cute for baby cards or just general spring cards. It's just adorable. And then the next thing I'm going to be working on is the striped. So I used the striped egg and cut it out of two different colored cardstocks, and I'm going to alternate those colors, layering them on that base stitched egg. So I'm going to layer all of those, and then I can use my leftover pieces to create a striped egg with the colors in a different order. Then to go along with my striped theme, I thought it would be fun to take that cracking egg piece and actually create a chevron egg. So I'm going to take this die, start it up towards the top, and move it all the way down my egg, cutting little chevron pieces. Once I'm all done cutting those pieces, I'm going to layer them on my little yellow base egg there. So I'll take some liquid glue and line those pieces up, and it's actually going to create a really cute little chevron egg. So I love that there are so many ways to decorate these eggs. It's just, it's, it's a really, really fun. So here's a look at the striped egg and the chevron egg. And then here now you can see all of these cute little pieces and how adorable they are and perfect to put on a card. So next I'm going to be working with a bunch of dies, including the Happy Hatchling dies, to create a card. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a standard size card base, five and a half by four and a quarter, and then I'm going to be working with my watercolor wishes paper. And so this paper is really going to be the star of the show. So the first thing I'm doing is using a five and a half by four and a quarter dotted rectangle die, and I've cut some blue paper for my sky, and then I've taken some white cardstock and cut my Easter border. Then now I've die cut a white egg and I'm going to crack it in half with that little chevron die there. And then I'm going to start working on more eggs. So here I've cut a polka dotted egg from purple. Then I'm going to work on my little chick and cut it from different areas of that yellow paper. So I cut the beak and the eggs from a darker area and then the chick from a lighter area. I'm going to cut some striped eggs from both pink and green. And then I can go ahead and start layering all these pieces on a base egg just like we did earlier. So I'm going to start with the pink and then alternate the colors to look like an adorable decorated egg. Now I wanted that striped egg to have the stitching detail. So I'm lining it up in that base egg piece, running it through the die cut machine, and now there's actually a stitching detail on that striped egg. I'm going to layer a bunch of pieces of the green watercolor wishes paper and cut it with my simple grassy hillsides and also an older die, which is the meadow grass. And by layering these, it's really going to look like this kind of garden of grasses. It's going to give the card a lot of dimension. So I'm holding those all in place how I want them, and then I'm going to trim off the bottom. That way they're all the right size. And then I'm going to layer the pieces with both tape runner and foam tape to give a ton of dimension to the card. Next up, I'm going to take my polka dotted egg and layer it on top of a blue base egg there just to give it some nice color in the back of those polka dots. And then I can start layering my pieces for my chick. So I'm going to add his little beak and his feet. And then I can decide where everything's going to go in my card. So I've got the polka dotted egg in the background and kind of the chick in the front. I'm going to take those cracked egg pieces and put it on either side of the chick. And then right now is when I realized that I forgot to color in his eyes. So I'm going to add some tape runner to the back of him and then just layer a piece of black cardstock right there just to give his eyes some nice black color. And then I'm going to take my Easter border here and lay that right on to the card. 
and then I'll just trim off any little pieces that are hanging over and I love the look of that delicate border. Now these next little flowers, these are actually from the new Flower Hillside pop-up add-on, but I thought it would be fun to add these to my card. So I've cut the bases from yellow and then the flower pieces from the pink watercolor wishes and I'm layering them to create a fun little garden at the bottom of this card. Now this gorgeous card is a recreation from Jess who works here at Lawn Fawn headquarters and I was so in love with this card and she said I could remake it for the video, so thank you so much Jess. So you're, here you can see how cool this looks. It looks so complicated because everything is cut from the watercolor wishes paper, but it was actually really easy to do. Now one of the things I love about these dies is that they will cut felt. So I went ahead and cut two of the little chickies from some yellow felt, and then I cut a chick from some black felt, and I'm actually just gonna pop out the little eyes and then pop them right into the chick. And it's a nice way to color in the eyes without having black felt behind it, which kind of shows through yellow felt. Then I'm using some Aileen's felt glue to glue everything together and it works really, really well. I couldn't find my hot glue gun so I decided to use it, but I kind of love it and I didn't burn my fingers, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna add a bunch of glue to the back of him and then sandwich that other chicky piece there. So it looks kind of nice and finished in the back. Then I can add a little dab of glue and add his little beak on next and now this chick is done. Now one thing I thought would be really cute to do with this little felt chick would be to create a little pin for a little girl's hair. So you could glue him on a bobby pin like this or on the side and I think it would be adorable in a little girl's hair. But I had my heart set on creating a banner. So I went ahead and started working on that. So I cut some more little chickies and I did them in the same exact way. And then I started cutting some of that base egg, the base stitched egg from some felt. And what I'm doing is actually layering two pieces of that felt. It's a little bit see-through, so by layering two of them, it gives it some heft and it makes the color nice and bold. And I went ahead and cut them out from some really pretty pink and mint pastel colors. And then I'm gonna add some of that glue, take some lawn trimmings twine, and just lay that right into the glue on the back of all of these felt images. And that is gonna hold right in place so all I need to do is let that dry for a long time and you'll see this was really quick and easy to do and it's this adorable little felt banner and I cannot wait to put it on my mantle I just love how it looks it's adorable so here is another look at that cute little banner and then here is a close-up and I just love how nice and clean those felt die cuts are now remember those little die cut images we made at the beginning? Well I thought it would be fun to create some mini cards with them. So I'm scoring down a long piece of white cardstock here and I'm gonna fold along that line and then I'm gonna take all of those dies that I used to create those chicks and eggs and I'm gonna line them up but with the top part of the die sticking up over the fold. That way when I run it through my die cut machine, that top part isn't gonna cut and it's gonna create a card there because the fold is gonna be retained. Then I can add a bunch of tape to this little card and layer my egg on top. And these little mini cards are adorable. It'd be really cute to stick in a little Easter basket or maybe a little tote bag with some little Easter candies. I think it would be adorable. And I just love seeing them there. They also can stand up so they can make little decorations for your mantle too, which is really fun. So I cannot wait to see what kind of cool and creative things that you guys create with this die set. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.